Michael Gove has demanded that the Labour Party recognize its unionist values and commit itself to the government's latest Brexit move that would seek to grant unfettered access from Northern Ireland to the UK. Labour leader Sir Keir Starmer is obligated to support the government's latest Brexit-related bill in order to ensure Northern Ireland's peace, Michael Gove has warned. The Chancellor of the Duchy of Lancaster met with the Vice President of the European Commission to discuss said bill's impact. The Commission says that the bill the government has proposed that would override the withdrawal agreement has seriously damaged trust between the EU and UK. Speaking to Sky News, Mr. Goh said, I am looking forward to the second reading of the bill next week. I believe it will be an opportunity for the government to set out in detail why it's important that we have this legislation. This legislation is critical to ensuring that there is unfettered access for goods from Northern Ireland to the rest of the UK. We're a unionist party, the Labour Party is as well. He continued, so therefore I hope that across the House of Commons there will be a recognition that we have an obligation to the people of Northern Ireland in order to make sure that they can continue to have unfettered access. But of course we, as a government, also have an obligation, which we take equally seriously, to make sure that the withdrawal agreement and protocol are implemented in a way that makes sure that the gains of the Good Friday Belfast Agreement are absolutely secured and enhanced in the future. The European Commission has demanded that the government withdraw measures from the bill that override the Brexit deal by the end of the month. Even some Conservative MPs have said that they will vote against the legislation. Former Prime Minister John Major issued an incendiary statement in response, writing, For generations, Britain's word, solemnly given, has been accepted by friend and foe. Our signature on any treaty or agreement has been sacrosanct. Over the last century, as our military strength has dwindled, our world has retained its power. If we lose our reputation for honoring the promises we make, we will have lost something beyond price that may never be regained.